going on everybody 915 mang here hanging out with you guys today and i hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are staying safe and uh doing well as possible as you can see i picked up a few zoanthids this is my crack this is my uh candy my coral candy and uh i got quite a few of them today picked them up from ebay and uh, eBay, I'm quickly finding out you can definitely get in trouble. And what I mean that is you can go overboard on the corals and zoas. Uh, so far, that's all I've ordered from eBay is zoas. I'm sure you can get some pretty nice uh, SPS. And uh, that'll be for a later video SPS. Right now, I'm just sticking with some zoas. I wanted some uh, fire in my tank, a different variation and uh i hope you guys enjoy this video it's gonna be a long video but i think it's a quality video um all my videos that i do are pretty much quality as best as i can do it um, sometimes i use my phone and the other times i bust out the uh good good camera which you'll be able to see later on now uh like i said i wanted to get a good mixture of corals uh, it's all about the corals, baby. If you guys think it's the fish, uh, that's because you just started and uh, you will initially get into it because of the fish and you'll quickly get wrapped up and consumed because of the corals, because of the colors. And uh, I got a great selection of uh, zoanthids and pallies and uh, you're going to be able to see. I want to show you what it looks like during the daytime with the lights and the t5s on so you can appreciate the colors because they look good during the day but i'm also going to show you what it's going to look like with the nothing but the blue lights or what they call a back in the day and uh, you can see the colors pop from the coral and that's the uh, main reason i love zoanthids now i do love the sps coral the small polyp uh, stony corals uh, but uh, right now this was just a uh, uh, zoa order on ebay now if you guys know some good people go ahead and drop them down in the comments below and uh, that way i can go ahead and uh, check them out later on in a future date the good thing about having a 150 is the dimensions of the tank i'm really liking how this tank is coming along and uh um, my goal is to have one uh awesome looking tank but uh it's all a work in progress it's you know i start off with one thing i had issues with aptasia now i have these little worm things which i probably always had in my tank but i've noticed them more and uh, what i'm gonna do is start attacking them uh viewers have suggested that i use a bumblebee uh, snails so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna try to get some of those once this quarantine is lifted so I can go to my LFS show some love to my LFS and pick up some bubble bee uh, snails and so that way we can tackle that and then the bubble algae I'll just uh, you know I'll manually attack it pick out as many as possible and go from there uh, this is a top-down view of some of the zoanthids that I picked up and I really happy with them you know i've been after some campfires some illuminati some palatoa some all kinds of stuff and then some of the stuff that i already had in my tank um and what i'm doing now is i'm trying to get as much corals off of the frag racks and glue them onto the live rock in the tank in the display tank and also with these um instead of leaving them on a frag rack like i did before i had everything in my 25 gallon lagoon which is an awesome tank i am gonna glue them onto these uh discs and uh glue them on there and let them grow out and that way my tank will look even better now the only thing about the round discs i wish i had bought in the uh, square tiles because uh these work really well i picked them up on amazon but the square tiles i think would just look a lot neater uh, in my display tank once I start laying them out and this is what I was talking to you about once the blue lights kick on you know the corals pop way more and when I say pop what I'm talking about is they glow 
Uh, my camera right here is, you know, picking it up quite a bit. But in person, these things just glow and uh, everything's like 10 times better, you know. And so I'm really excited to add these onto my rock. And I think this tank will look really, really awesome. We'll go ahead and show you this in a side view so you can see the different angles. You know, you got to look at your corals from the top, front, and side views to really kind of appreciate it. And, uh, you know, stuff is starting to open up and uh, it's going to look pretty sweet once we get acclimated to the tank. Don't forget to dip your corals uh, because you don't want to introduce pests into your tank and then you'll have a bigger problem than what it is. Another thing that I kind of want to talk to you about is anemones. Uh, I have some cool anemones. You know, I've had these as soon as I could get them, you know, the because of the whole Finding Nemo deal. You know, my black clownfish is in there, loving it up. Uh, you can see he's just kicking back in his bed and uh, is doing really well. But the problem with the anemones, once you start getting a mixed tank and you start getting to SPS, they will move around in your tank and start stinging your corals, start irritating everything. And the only thing that uh, the anemone is good for is for the clownfish. Now, I have quite a bit of anemones. Uh, and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how pretty these things are with the blue lights. They're, they look really nice, really pink right now. They have some nice green in it. But once the blue lights kick on, you're really gonna be able to see the uh, difference here. Now what I was thinking about doing is moving the other anemones from this tank because I have one, two, three, four, I think I have about four to five anemones in my 150. That's way too many in my opinion for my liking. The last time I had nine anemones, I took them all to the LFS and I got a $20 credit each. Uh, so this time I'm just gonna take them out, the anemones and move them to my 25 gallon lagoon. And then uh, I'll go ahead and sell them myself. And uh, somebody else who's local in my area who wants one can uh, pick one up from me for a great price. And if not, then I'll just turn my 25 gallon lagoon into an enemy tank and uh, it'll look pretty sweet. But this is the nighttime view that I kind of wanted to show you so you can kind of see some of the close up of my SPS. The last video I showed you is when I actually cut some SPS and I was doing some top down views. Well, that's one piece that I glued on and I'm hoping that it plates out and it'll look way better. Start coloring out and growing and my tank will look a lot better because I do want to add some more variety of SPS in this tank. I think a mixed reef is the way to go for me because I love the Zoas, the Pallies, you know, I love the SPS and there's a great variety that you can still add to this tank. I um, also like the Montiporas and uh, the way that everything is going. We're going to start off with a side view and then we'll start taking it to the front and then to the top. So you can kind of get like a 360 degree view of this uh, tank and how it's coming and how it's progressing. It's crazy. If you stick it out, everything will go well because you know what? Everybody hits has problems in the reef tank. And you know, it's the people that say, I've been reefing for 30 years and you know, their tanks don't really look that great you know with me I like to show you my failures I like to show you what's going on in my tank you know it's not good all the time uh, right now I can say everything's coming along everything's looking okay and so far so good but I'm constantly messing up you know I have a learning curve I don't do things right you know so but these are the way it's coming along and I like to share it with you guys. So thanks a lot for following and hitting that subscribe button. If you like it, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And of course, it's great hearing your comments. It's always good to do. As you can see on that shelf rock, I cut up some of the frag plugs and I super glued them onto the disc. Um, my goal is to have that top shelf rock looking really sweet with a variety of different colors. Um, I have quite a few zoas so just kind of imagine once they start spreading 
it's gonna look really really sweet um it's just the different colors and mixtures now i've always always loved the purple dotty back it's a simple fish that you can find at your lfs you'll find it for 14 to 20 bucks and it's really skittish little fish but i've always had them in my reef tank as much as possible and uh i really like the bright pink that they have now looking at my green slimer the growth on it is really taken off but when i got it it was a tiny frag not even the size of your pinky i swear it was like half of your pinky and it was like 20 something bucks uh, i bought it online and the rewarding part of this hobby is buying things as little frags and then watching them grow to big colonies and this this sps right here um i have fragged a big chunk of it and even given it to my buddy uh, and then he put it in his tank and probably sold it and whatever and my piece is still doing really good and still going really really strong um, and I'm about to frag this some more uh, because it's just too big and I'm getting some death on it uh, towards the base when I wasn't taking care of my alkalinity um, it just started to slowly uh, die right now it's doing great but I am gonna frag it because uh, I want to attach it to some rock and uh, let it grow because this thing is kind of front and center of the tank and it is about the size of your forearm this green slimer has also been one of my hardiest sps frags that i've had you know it's gone through ups and downs different tank transfers different moves and uh, it survived it all and it's doing really good so far but i am gonna frag it up and kind of mount it on some different rocks. The other SPS that I have here, I have no idea what it's called, but it's taken off quite a bit. I got it as a tiny frag, glued it onto my tank, and the growth on it has blown up. Maybe about two years, a year and a half, uh, has taken off and tabled really nicely. This is the only clownfish that I have, and that's the only reason why I still have an anemone in my tank. Uh, because of this guy right here uh, i love the way that he moves around and uh so that's the only reason why i have an anemone but i got news for him i'm gonna take out some of the other anemones put them on my 25 gallon lagoon and uh move these bad boys as far as the tank maintenance so far i haven't done anything haven't done any water change in a while i just have my algae turf scrubber going on i've kind of been playing with the thought of taking the algae turf scrubber offline growing just you know chato and going from there uh, i'm kind of thinking about it but also i might not do that because everything's going good right now and i'm able to feed whatever i want usually a cube a day uh, my fish don't get any more of that because i want them to eat once a day and then I want them to uh, be grazing because I have tangs and any algae in the tank I want them to go ahead and uh, pick at it and clean it up so now we're moving from center to the right side of the tank so you guys can see how everything else is looking and uh, of course we're doing a top-down shot and I'm loving the way everything is coming along so far now of course my lighting uh, some of you will call that the disco ball effect uh, but for me I like the way it looks I like the way it looks on the top because when I'm looking at the bottom let's say eye level I don't see any crazy disco ball effect you know right now you can see it because I'm right over the tank but when I'm looking at it straight on you know I don't really have that problem and I've always liked the way that it looks uh, they blend really good I'm using a little bit of red and the reason I like using red LEDs is because it makes everything pop more. You can see more of the orange. You can see everything. Um, I did contact Logan from Reef Breeders and I asked them, you know what, uh, the Ecotech Radiance, they have that cool little um, blender thing where you put on the, the light and it you know, mixes up the colors type of thing. Diffuser is the word that I'm looking for. But uh, he said that would just take away from the par 
and take away from the strength of the LEDs. And my LEDs are actually up on the water at least uh, a good 10 inches. And it gives me enough room to work on them so I don't want to go ahead and mess it up when everything is going good so far. One set of lights that I may add a diffuser to is my Radeons. I have a Radeon XR15s, the Gen 4s on the Lagoon. I have two of them, which is way too much light for that little Lagoon. But uh, I went ahead and went big. I would like to turn that into a Zoa tank, but thinking about moving the enemies into that other tank, if these guys uh, start moving around in this tank. And as you can see, one, two, three, four, and then there's one underneath the backside of the uh, live rock. One thing that is looking pretty sweet is my Jason Fox uh, flaming banana in the middle. Pick that up. You know, it wasn't so yellow when I got it and it's been doing quite a bit really good. Uh, I'm also having a problem with the sand bed blowing around all over the place uh, with my uh, pump rotator. And uh, I need to fix that uh, because it's became, becoming a pain in the butt. I would like to add uh, some more flow to this tank, believe it or not. Uh, have the pump rotator going, add another pump on the same side, and then just do my MP40 on the right side of my tank. Um, another kind of flow that I would like to get, maybe a gyre or another MP40, but that's going to be you know later on in the year. Right now, I still have some uh, RW... 15s or the, I have the QP 16s that I can still add uh, and that's what I'm gonna do for now But so far, I hope everything is going good. I want to show you a close-up of, of another SPS That I've had a quite a bit of luck with it when I got it. It was green uh, But I really like the way that this thing has colored up uh, I gotta give a shout out to reef girl. She picked up a bunch of like green no-name SPS from her fish store and uh, she came out with some really really nice really nice color SPS I'll try to find the video if you're watching reef girl comment below so that people can find your channel uh, really cool channel does quite a bit of stuff and she's really into the SPS and corals like I said you get into it because of the fish but uh, man this corals take over Go ahead and wake up you eat sleep reef corals and uh, this is more than just a hobby it's a way of life it's a lifestyle and uh, for all of you guys who are reefing a shout out to you guys I don't care if you have a nano I don't care if you have a 500 gallon reef tank or fish only uh, if you're doing fresh water and you want to come over to salt water hey you're at the right place lots of people there's lots of youtubers out there that will help you out but the only thing that i would suggest is make sure they have credentials to help you out you know you'll see a lot of people telling you to buy this and do that uh, and they don't even have corals in their tank and their their live rock is still white uh because they just started you know so don't listen to those dudes listen to those guys who actually been reefing have the videos and the pictures to back it up and uh, aren't aren't uh, in it to make uh, money because uh, look at me uh, I buy all my stuff and uh, it's cool man I love just coming out here doing videos with you guys and uh, BSing with you guys every time I see this guy right here my clownfish swimming around up and down and those anemones I feel bad because I want to take those anemones out of my 150 because I don't want those anemones walking around my tank and stinging, you know, my coral. Uh, they won't kill them immediately, but if you don't pay attention to them, uh, that rubbing on your corals will uh, kill them, will make them lose color, and, you know, why? Because you work so hard for them. That's the only reason I think about pulling them out of my tank. But then again, I do another close-up and I see my anemones swimming. Uh, hugging up my clownfish and then I feel bad how many of you guys have anemones in your tank the only other kind of anemone that I would take is like a sunburst those lemon uh, looking anemones 
those things are sweet those are from colorado and uh i'm not too far from colorado so if you guys want to send me one uh hell send it to me and i'll put them in my tank and then i can have rose bubble tip anemones and uh sunburst those lemon kind from uh colorado that'd be sweet that's the only way i would add more anemones to my tank sometimes uh when i feed my anemones i go ahead and feed them uh krill and they turn super super pink and i think i'll go ahead and do that for you guys in the next video and also did you guys know also i have an instagram my instagram is 915 mang uh, if you guys have any questions you can hit me up in the direct messages ask away and i'll try to get back with you uh pretty much instantly you can ask me about your tanks and all of that but guys it's been good hanging out with all my reefing brothers and sisters i hope you guys are doing good you guys take care and uh this is how i want my tank to look with all those new additions and hope you guys have a good one we'll see you on the next one guys